guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House here. I'm um, just going to talk to you a little bit about uh, some prepping and stuff. Um, I've been busting butt uh, for years to try to get this place uh, livable, comfortable, and we're getting close. Now, it just so happens that it happened during a pandemic, um, but like I said, I was prepping before COVID and I even warned a year ahead of the virus. You guys can go back in my playlist under prepping. Go look up Disease X. I called it, I called the COVID a year out. Now, with all the damage that it's caused financially for a lot of households out there, a lot of people like you out there, it's caused a lot of hardship. Stress, financial, anxiety, fear, all kinds of stuff out there. Now, hopefully some of my followers, or if you're a new follower and don't know what prepping is and why I'm talking about it and why you should be maybe interested in it, it's kind of important, guys. Um, you want to be in a situation where you can take care of yourself and your family um, by your own means without calling someone or, or buying something. Um, because sometime that help's never going to come. Just look at uh, how crazy it is in America where people are trying to defund the police which means defund law enforcement, which means crime's just going to skyrocket and make everything a living hellhole. So, and then look at all these groups out there. I'm not going to name names, but you know, you've seen them on the news. Um, destroying statues, destroying property, um, attacking people, attacking vehicles. The people at the top are trying to push a civil war on not only America but you know mostly America at this point um, it I, we haven't seen a whole lot of stuff over here uh, very little over here in Canada um, but that's because not a lot of people support that nonsense here which is a good thing um, we have brains over here, okay? Um, so, there's a whole mess of stuff going on. The economy's in the hurt locker because of the shutdown. Should have never shut down from day one. Um, and it's not all, the economy's bad everywhere, guys. And getting back to my main points here, you need to be able to take care of yourself right where you are right now. If you can't do that and you own some property out in the boonies in a rural area, build a cabin or a structure you guys can bug out to, live happily ever after if the shit hits the fan. Um, and what does that mean, shit hits the fan? Well guys, it means a whole lot of stuff. Um, let's say civil war breaks out in all these major cities, do you really want to, you know, be hanging out at your house when all this crazy people are on the streets rioting and looting and everything out like that? I don't think so. You want to be as far away as possible, isolate yourself from that. And in doing so, you're protecting yourself, you're protecting your property, and you're going to be able to survive long term if you start thinking about it now and getting stuff together now in order to be able to do this. Now my place here at the Off Grid Tiny House, uh, it costs about $5,000 Canadian for me to get an off the grid, uh, 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 a fully functional off the grid, um, solar powered setup where I can run win a window air conditioner and pretty much anything else in the off-grid tiny house. Now 
I can't run the air conditioner during the nighttime, guys, because the sun's obviously down and you would murder your batteries if you did so. But I have alternatives um, where I can, in my 12 volt freezer, freeze uh, two liter bottles full of water and create a redneck air conditioner for when I, when the time comes uh, at dusk before I shut the air off. I can transfer those two liter bottles into a, what, what you call a redneck air conditioner, turn it on, and that will be my supplemental cooling during the overnight. And then just rinse and repeat that cycle, refreeze the bottles in the morning, um, all day uh, off the solar, run your air conditioner all, all day uh, for free off the sun, and that gets me by, gets me through. So for about $5,000, guys, I got off the grid, no bills. Um, isolated myself from bills so I can pay for this stuff and continue to get my money back and of my investment out of this stuff. So that's really good. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty set here. I, I'm, I can harvest rainwater. I can shower. Um, my shower at the moment, I had to order a new pump, so I may be buy, uh, buying a couple pumps just as backups because, you know, shit hit the fan, I don't think uh, you're going to be still ordering stuff on Amazon, guys, you know, if that does happen. So, it, whatever you got, you got, and you got to use it. So, and uh, hey, if it's cold showers for me for the rest of the time here, as long as I'm safe and comfortable, shit, I don't mind that. That's that's minimal, bare minimal uh, str uh, stuff that I gotta worry about, right? So I got the new barrel stove installed for winter, um, and I got uh, you know I got some firewood, not enough to get me through this coming winter. Um, I'm gonna try to get my hands on somebody who sells firewood, and I'm just gonna buy a cord or two just to supplement that and try that out um, and I uh, this will be the first uh, winter with these new solar panels so I got to see how well I do during um, during this winter period but like I said in the winter time you're not running an air conditioner and my air conditioner is one of my biggest um, loads so biggest power hogs uh, right now it's overcast rainy out and I'm still bringing in almost 20 amps, able to run everything still just fine. And so this is a good test. I'll show you outside how dark it looks. Tilt the camera. This is what we're looking at for outside, okay? Now guys, this is simulating winter conditions for me right now while we're still in the summertime. It's actually uh, July uh, the 19th. 19th of July 2020 and um, this is a really good trial getting my trials done now on all this good stuff so like I say guys um, I hope you guys are doing some sort of prepping now because if the economy crashes the rioters and the people on the streets is only going to increase and get much worse. People are going to lose a lot of housing. People are running paycheck to paycheck right now. It's bad. People are going to defunct on their debt, their loans, their mortgages. It's bad. So, Guys, I highly suggest, even if you got to live in a camper or a tiny house or an RV, get something that you can move easily and you and your family can live in comfortably. Like, set it up, guys. I spent $5,000 on an off-the-grid solar system. Works fantastic. If you guys need help with that, let me know in the comments below. I can tell you what I, I'm running. Um, things are crazy. Get prepared. Get prepared. 
get prepared. Food, water filters, learning how to filter water safely. Okay, huge. Even beyond the water filters, learning how to treat your own nasty water to make it drinkable and safe for you and your family. Huge. Because guess what guys? The human body cannot live more than a couple days without water. A good, a good amount of it. And especially in heat like we're getting this summer guys. Um, yeah. And it doesn't matter. Winter time you need water too guys. Um, actually you need to drink more water um, in the winter if you're in if you don't have a heat source which is kind of that's kind of wow right maybe some of you haven't known that but water water everywhere take advantage do some rain catchment rain harvesting filtering make sure you have extra parts to able to be to handle your system and uh, go from there um Crucial, crucial stuff, guys. Now, food is, you know, it's important, but, you know, you can go without, you go up to 30 days without food. Obviously, you're going to feel like crap. You're going to be grumpy. You're going to be pissy. Hangry. Definitely. You won't be able to think, think too proper without a decent meal. So, another thing you can do to supplement that, multivitamins. Buy them in bulk. Go to Costco, go to wherever you can get sweet deals on vitamin powders, vitamin pills, whatever you can get your hands on, get it now. Cold and flu stuff. Benadryls, load up. Um, because if shit hits the fan, guys, there may not be a pharmacy anymore. Whatever you got in your kitchen cabinet or your under, under the sink or wherever you keep your medicine, that's what you got. Uh, learn about plants that you can eat to help you out. All kinds of stuff like that. Um, we're in a serious time of change. And I want all my followers and anyone viewing this video to get, re get prepared. This is not, this is not like some kind of conspiracy or or way out there kind of thinking guys what if the power goes off for a week how comfortable are you guys going to be and how well is your food going to last in your fridge and freezer anybody know i don't know